goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. They're the two golden rules that the live entertainment industry globally lives by. The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. And it doesn't matter what has happened prior to 8 o'clock. The show goes up at 8 o'clock and the show must go on. And oftentimes it comes together just at the last moment. But the show goes up at 8 o'clock and the show must go on. And the discipline associated with making sure the show goes up at 8 o'clock and the show must go on is dictated by the fact that there are three or 30 or 300 or 3,000 or 30,000 of an audience sitting there waiting for something to happen. I had the great pleasure of sharing uh, some barstool conversations with a very good friend of mine, Pius McGrath, uh, during the week. And we were reminiscing on a time when he and I and Maeve McGrath and Aidan O'Brien and Tara Doolan all got together and we formed a small company called Payday Productions. And we ran lunchtime theatre at the Savoy Hotel in Limerick for about three and a half years. And every month, uh, the reason we were called Payday Productions is because it always happened on payday. It was the last Thursday of the month. We had a lunchtime show, tea time show, and lunchtime on Friday. Very simple. Uh, but it worked. We had about 120 shows over a three and a half year period. And it was wonderful. Met some great people. And that same discipline, the show goes up at 8 o'clock and the show must go on, was imposed upon us. Of course, our show times were 1 p.m. and 6 p.m., but the principle remained the same. And Pius and I were reminiscing on uh, some great stories uh, that, that uh, abound, if you like, from that period in our lives. And uh, when, when he mentions the, the phrase, the show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on, because Pius is forever involved in the live entertainment industry. And uh, when he mentioned that phrase, I thought to myself, there's something in that for the rest of us too. It's not just appropriate to the live entertainment industry. And it got me thinking about something I attended earlier in the week again, uh, which was a master class in public speaking by a good friend of mine, B.B. Baskin. The legend that is B.B. Baskin came to Limerick and in the Savoy Hotel again, presented her master class in public speaking, and it was wonderful. And B.B. was telling us that uh, in her early career, she hosted over 1,000 live TV shows, 1,000 live TV shows. And the discipline associated with that is phenomenal because once the camera starts rolling, that's it. And you see, in the live entertainment industry, there is nowhere to hide. The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. There's an audience sitting there waiting for something to happen, and it must happen. And when the show starts, when the cameras start rolling, that's it. You're out there on your own doing your thing. You must deliver, live or die by it. And it struck me there are some fantastic lessons the rest of us can adopt from the show goes up at eight o'clock, the show must go on. I mean, what's your day job? The show goes up at eight o'clock, the show must go on. Or does it? Do you, because you don't have a live audience sitting in front of you, do you give yourself the latitude, the excuse that it's okay to stay in bed a half an hour longer? Or to perhaps not open the office at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. because there's nobody really waiting on you to do so? What is your business? The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. But again, does it? In your business, does the show go up at 8 o'clock? Does the show always go on? Perhaps not. Perhaps again, you've allowed yourself to be slipshod in your delivery of your promise. A brand is a promise. What's your brand? A brand is a promise. And do you break your promise simply because it's okay to do so? In Carambola, our brand promise is we will deliver on time, in full, a fresh, healthy lunch. And we've done that 40 million times since we started in 2003. The show goes up at 8 o'clock. The show must go on. What is your business? What is your brand promise? Do you have that type of discipline built into it? And we can apply the principles of the show must go up at 8 o'clock. The show must go on to other aspects of our lives too. Have you made an appointment and kept it? The show goes up at 8 o'clock. The show must go on. Have you made a commitment to finish a report? The show goes up at 8 o'clock. The show must go on. Have you invited somebody on a date? The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. Have you finished your thesis on time? The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. Have you sent your CV in for that job on time? The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. And one we're all familiar with, catching a flight. The show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. How many times have we skated into the boarding area just in time? And why have we done that? Because there's a discipline associated with the show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on. I've said before that professionals never lose. Professionals either win or they learn. Professionals also never miss a deadline. The show goes up at 8 o'clock. The show must go on. And I'd like to thank Pius McGrath for that phrase that uh, inspired this particular Coffee with Column episode.
the uh, show goes up at eight o'clock, the show must go on. Wonderful words. And I'd like you to join me in thanking the myriad diverse tribe of people involved in the live entertainment industry globally from front of house, back of house and everything in between and everything that goes into making sure the show goes up at 8 o'clock and the show must go on. And the very best way you and I can show our thanks is to simply go to more live shows. So on the back of this, on the back of the show goes up at 8 o'clock, the show must go on, on the back of this particular Coffee Column episode, do us all a favour, do the industry a favour, do yourself a favour and simply go and book a show. And thank you for joining me for this week's Coffee with Column. I hope and trust you got something from it. Most importantly, please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next week. And then equally as importantly, come back next week, we'll share another coffee together and I'll ruminate on some other aspect of life and business. Between now and then, get some great coffee, get some fresh air, get some more and more, go see a show. And I'll see you here this time next week for another Coffee with Colin. Slaunch it. Ah, oh, great coffee. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.